we're going to be talking about is this little part. Focus. I can't tell you. Yeah, that's pretty weird. We're going to be talking about the Pi camera and this this little printed part. Here's where we left off last time. And what we're missing is we're missing the Pi camera. There's going to be a camera here, um, as well as a few other parts. Yeah, we have the top wing. I'm gonna have to use uh, V2.1 Pi camera instead of the Pi Spy camera. This or something like it is gonna sit right about there and the the Pi is right about there. Have the top wing we're going to assemble and we have the Pi camera that we're going to assemble. This 3D printed part here, these bolts, they're sorry nuts, are all captive nuts that go into here.
And we've got a washer on each one of those. There we go. And we have these two pins for attaching the camera and it snaps in just like that. Now we need to remove the pie hat and we just slide the camera into the ribbon cable connector. The accelerometer came, but we're going to have to raise this up a little bit. That is where the accelerometer is. And where the pins are, it's not going to be right in the midline. That's where we actually want it. But it comes too close to that board. It won't fit. Um, so we're going to try it for now. It's probably good enough, but there's another unit we're going to swap it out for. It's a little bit narrower. It's a little bit longer. We have some room to go over the board this way, and I think that'll be a lot better. So it needs to go over that way. So I've used accelerometers and I, on quadcopters, the first quadcopter that I built, and I didn't put the accelerometer gyroscope uh, magnetometer in the very center of the quadcopter. So it was extremely difficult to fly. And when I say difficult to fly, when you put the throttle on, it tried to kill you. So we're gonna have to swap this out for a more expensive unit so we can get it closer to the center, which is unfortunate because this unit is pretty cheap. But doesn't mean we can't do our testing. There you have it. You have the Pi camera installed. We're going to need to update some things on the PCB. So next time, let's get the, the front end on here and we'll, we'll control that servo motor and show it working. All right, thanks for watching. a few bricks here prototype parts um, in some cases just prototypes because I didn't have the bricks didn't have time to order them it was faster to print some cases not this is a this is a well it's still faster than it's still faster than ordering them I mean ordering takes at least a few days this this is half a day 